The sun was coming up pink on my left as I was looking out and then on the right it was still dark and the stars were shining. It was like we were caught between night and day and then right into the splashdown zone between these clouds came the uh, command module and then we started the exercise that we've been practicing and practicing. As I say, there were thousands of us that day all dedicated to getting the astronauts home safe. Um, each of us had our small part and we practiced it over and over and over again. And of course, on this mission, failure was not an option. Uh, most of the teams and the helicopters is, and the pilots and all had been around for Apollo 8, Apollo 10. The only difference was that now we had to do the decontamination. The idea was to maintain quarantine because there was a concern that they might be bringing back a lunar pathogen. First swimmer out is, attaches a sea anchor to keep the command module from walking downwind. Then I uh, jumped in, I set up the decontamination bottles. Uh, astronauts, of course, might come out with some of the lunar dust on their biological isolation garments, so that's why they had to be decontaminated with the bleach. And I might have got some on myself as well, so they decontaminated me. Splish splash, we were taking a bath in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Then the recovery helicopter comes alongside, they drop down the net, and one by one they got into the net and uh, up, up and away. And then after they left, uh, I decontaminated the entire command module. Hornet came back to pick us up. Uh, they took the command module aboard with its precious cargo of moon rocks. And then we climbed up a cargo net onto the Hornet, and that was it. I mean, think about it. Ten years after President Kennedy challenged the nation, Americans walked on the moon. Astonishing. We out, out in the Pacific, we didn't see it. There wasn't any ability for us to see it, but we knew that it happened. And, you know, we were proud to be Americans. And, and 50 years later, you know, as far as, as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm grateful and honored to have been part of the Navy team that was dedicated to bring them back safely. And, you know, very proud that we did it. I'm Clancy Hattleberg, and I was one of the thousands of Navy personnel dedicated to bringing the Apollo 11 astronauts home safely. Happy birthday, Navy!